We're going to go through a quick tutorial on how to use the Receipt Bank app on your phone. I'm using an iPhone. It's going to look very similar on an Android. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it on both, but the menus and the items should all work exactly the same. When you click on the Receipt Bank link, either from your email or from your text that you would have received, it should look something like this, or it may take you directly to the login screen, which looks like this. Enter in your email address, and depending on the settings that you have in your phone, it may pre-populate the email address. If not, just go ahead and type in your email address. Next, type in your password, and your password would have been sent to you in the email that you received with the invite. Receipt Bank does automatically create a password for you. Click on Login, and it will default to your camera when it opens up. Basically, all you have to do is line up your receipts and take a picture of them. So in this example, both of these receipts relate to the same transaction, so I can put them in one picture. Every receipt has to be independently submitted, so you do have to take separate pictures if they are separate receipts. But if you have two receipts that relate to the same expense, you can take it in a single picture. All you're going to do is click on the green button, and that takes the picture of it. You'll want to zoom in a little bit, make sure that it the numbers are clear and that you can read it. If they weren't clear and you wanted to retake it, just click on retake in the corner and it will take you back to the previous camera screen. So a couple of things that you're looking for to make sure are legible when you submit it. Let's take the picture. Is you wanna make sure that the name of the supplier is on the bill. If you're traveling and it's multi-currency, Receipt Bank will detect the currency based on the address of the supplier. So if there is an address on the supplier, please make sure you try and get that as well. There should be a date on the receipt and as well the total that is on the receipt. And if it is a credit card, you want to make sure that it's able to capture the credit card information, the last four digits of the credit card, in order for us to know how the expense was paid and recorded correctly. Those are really the only pieces of information that are vital, and you want to make sure that you can read the numbers. If you can read it on your phone, we'll be able to read it when we receive it. Next, all you have to do is click Submit for Processing. If you wanted to add some details about the receipt, click on Add Info in the corner, and you can actually type in a description if it's a meals receipt that is related to a particular customer that you want to document, you can put that in there. If you're tracking projects, you can drop down the project menu and choose the different projects that are set up for you. If you want projects set up and you want to be able to track your expenses by project, just let us know and we can set them up so that they show up in your options. Once you have typed in any notes that you want, just click on Save, takes you back to the Submit button and click Submit for Processing. And that's it. That's all that you have to do. We get notified that you've uploaded something and you're good to go. So that's how you would submit a receipt through the iPhone or Android app. Again, if you have any questions or you're not sure what to do, you know where to reach us. Just reach out to your direct team and we will get you connected.